los terroristas. These lines are filled in like, like so, and they represent the three different phases within a element. You got phase over here, A is a solid, B is a liquid, and C is a gas. These lines right here represent the, that the two phases on the element are in equilibrium. So A to C the solid and the gas are in equilibrium. The B, the liquid and the gas are in equilibrium, and the A and B are in like equilibrium. All right, folks, you're uh, this point right here, where these three, where these two lines come together, uh, is known as the triple point. That's where the element can exist at any of the three states. Uh, this point, which is somewhere, somewhere right about here, where this marker is dead. Uh, so, somewhere about here on the graph is known as the critical point where the element can exist in only a gaseous state and it cannot exist as a solid or a liquid. Hello folks, um, I'm just going to show you from, from a solid to a liquid, you go from melting. So from phase A, well from phase A to phase B is uh, melting. And then from, uh, from B to C, you're going from boiling, all right, and then which is from a, uh, a liquid to a gas, and then from a gas all the way back to a solid is called a uh, disposition. <laughs> and from from uh, from B back to A, it's uh, freezing, okay, um, and also there's one more it's from C to B. Is con condensation. And then that'll be, and then that's everything today, folks. No, Take, what, last, oh, so. last thing. <laughs> As pressure increases, the element's most likely to be a liquid or a solid. And as temperature increases, the element's most likely to be a gas or a liquid. And that'll conclude our session for phase nine. Hulk smash! Start shaking the camera. And this is how you turn a solid to liquid. Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. That's how we ball out. Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. What, 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 what,